morning, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Watch Queen Lose. It has been an honor just um, enjoying this journey with you guys. For those of you who are new to my blog or who haven't seen it in a couple of weeks, this is week nine of my journey. And um, just as a recap, I have been overweight my entire life. In 2007, I decided to just go for it and um, start begin losing weight. Over the course of 2008, I lost about 100 pounds, uh, which was an amazing year for me. 2009 was a very rough year, and it was a plateau year for me. Um, however, in April of this year, I applied for the show The Biggest Loser, and um, I didn't make the show, and it was very devastating for me. However, the process of applying for that show rekindled a fire in me to um, jump start, re jump start my weight loss process. So June first, I set off um, to restart and go hard. And today, I just weighed in, and as of June first, I have officially lost twenty pounds this summer. I am, I am so excited. So I lost six pounds last week which gives me a total weight loss for the summer of 20 pounds, which gives me a total weight loss for my entire journey of about 120 pounds. So I'm just super excited. But this week, what I want to do is I want to dedicate my blog or my, my blog to telling you guys um, about how I actually make that happen. And um, it is no surprise, it is no secret that the main way you lose weight, it has to do with your diet and your exercise. So I'm going to show you some brief clips about how I eat and some of the exercises that I do and um, hope that you guys just, you know, are encouraged. And if you have any questions, any feedback, anything you want to know about um, my journey, if you want me to go a little bit deeper into how I actually prepare my foods and how I started and what really motivated me, um, hit me up because it is a journey. It is definitely a journey. It's not a sprint. However, it's possible. It's doable. I'm sitting here at 120 pounds down and living life to the fullest in a way that I never was living it three years ago. So um, God bless you and uh, check out the week. Uh, how's it going? Texas. I'm here in the gym at my cousin's apartment, running my treadmill. I've got about three, 3.5. Miles already burned just over 1600, oh, just over 600 calories. And, you know, I used to come, I walk two minutes, a jog, shut up, I'm tired. Walk, jog, walk, jog until something that's done. Sometimes I do sprints, but I didn't feel like that today. Um, later on, I'm going to go out to the pool and swim some laps, but you yeah, have to be encouraged. Start at your own pace. Don't let it all pressure you to go at their pace. Build up your endurance. Push yourself a little bit, and you'll find yourself, like me, doing things you never thought you would do, like running the treadmill. All right, I'll check you out all in. Bye. So this is my god sister, Sasha. She's a chef. And um, as I told you guys, I'm trying uh, different methods to maximize on this weight loss journey. And so Sasha has volunteered to help me with some of my meals. So tonight she has made a scrumptious dinner for us. Sasha, why don't you tell them what you've made here? Um, here is some basmati rice with some peas and brunoise carrots. And that's just going to be the base for our Indian curry tilapia. Everything's fresh, fresh tomatoes, a little bit of lime juice, lots of onion and garlic. Nice, rich, hearty dish that are very unhealthy. So I want to show you some things that I eat that are, um, may, I may not cook by myself, but are still healthy. So here in my refrigerator, um, we have a couple of things that I eat. Those you, Some of you guys know already, I don't eat meat as, except for fish. So a lot of my items are going to be meatless except, um, except for fish, but they're still going to be healthy. So here from Trader Joe's, I get what's called Mahi Mahi Burgers. These Mahi Mahi patties are 110 calories only, high in protein, so that's good for helping you burn fat and, and build muscle, and so which also helps you lose weight. I have here what are called sandwich thins made by Oral Wheat. These sandwich thins are only 100 calories for this pack of sandwich thins. So what ends up happening is I'll use a sandwich thin and I'll put it on a Mahi Mahi burger or uh, a salmon burger and that's like 200 calories just for a burger and you add all the vegetables you want because you know caloric uh, speaking that it doesn't even matter it's not a big deal on top of that I eat these things from Trader Joe's called black bean and corn enchiladas 
It comes with two enchiladas. Each enchilada is 130 calories, which is only 260 calories for a meal. That's amazing. And I guarantee you, these things fill you up. 260 calories for lunch. That's great. Um, on top of that, I also get what's called, I'm sorry for this, these vegetable egg rolls. I get these from Trader Joe's. You pop them in, in the oven for about 10 minutes. These vegetable egg rolls are only 110 calories each. I ate two of these this morning with my protein shake and it was what, a 300 calorie brunch or breakfast, whatever. It was, it was amazing. Um, I'm an advocate for being able to cook for yourself. However, at times when you can't cook for yourself, you want to take a healthier route, which often is going to stores like Trader Joe's and buying products like I just showed you because that will drastically um, enhance your diet. One thing that I always tell people is, if you're trying to lose weight, at the end of the day, your food intake will make the bigger difference than your exercise. You can exercise all you want to, but if you don't change your diet, you're not going to lose weight or you're going to lose it very, very slowly. However, I know people that don't exercise and have a great diet and they lose weight. The problem is that they don't build muscle. They, um, their skin begins to sag because their body's not toning. So you want to do the two hand in hand. However, if you want to maximize on losing weight, you must change the way you eat. You must um, uh, consider everything that you're putting into your body because it definitely makes a big difference. So that's a little bit of what's in my freezer, some of the meals that I make. If you have more questions about meals or um, uh, food preparation, um, hit me up on the blog, hit me up on Facebook, put a comment on this YouTube video and I'm more than willing to tell you how I have come this far um, losing over 100 pounds and I'm, I'm telling you, I exercise but how I eat has made the tremendous difference in um, my weight loss progress. I want to leave you guys with this final thought. Um, I was thinking like what can I share with them about my weight loss journey um, in regards to food and exercise that has made one of the greatest impacts in my life. When I first began to lose weight, the first thing I did was I took everything out of my diet, everything um, out of my um, regimen that wasn't water as far as liquids is concerned. Um, I and I started drinking water only and it had, I mean, the first change that I had was drastic solely off of that decision. And um, I've stuck to that pretty much. Like water is my best friend. Um and the reason why I drink water so much is because I enjoy food. And I tell people I would rather eat my calories than drink my calories. Now, some of you guys may be heavy drinkers. You like sodas and juices. But in my opinion, if you can take out the sodas and juices, then you have, like, propelled yourself so much further in this process. And like I said, if um, a drink is going to have as much calories as a meal or half of a meal or even a third of a meal, I'd rather not drink it. Um, I'd rather just have the water. And um, so there's regular water, but also there's these things right here that I get from Albertsons. These are flavored waters, um, sparkling water. So they actually give you maybe a little bit of the same feel. That's the, the fizz that soda gives you. And they're still um, zero calories. This is called acacia blueberry. They have white grape. They have so many other flavors. Um, also when I go to restaurants, I get water, lots of lemon, and it really takes, it cuts that tap water taste out and I enjoy it. Now for those of you guys who must have soda, um, I occasionally have a soda fix and, um, I will get a diet soda. Now I am not a fan of diet sodas. There's no healthy aspect to it at all. However, if it's between a diet soda and a regular soda, you might as well get the drink that has no calories. They're both horrible for you anyway. So um, and your goal to lose weight, drink half a, a diet soda. Drink a diet soda if it is something that you must do um, and you feel like you need a fix, get it. It's horrible for you in health, but so is a soda that has calories. So go for the one without calories. Um, but yeah, water has changed my life. Um, and even recently, people were like, Liana, your skin looks so good. How do you do it? Girl, I say water and sweat. Like, and they laugh at me, but I'm so serious. I've never sweat as much as I have in my life. And I know that my body is sweating out the impurities and the water is very cleansing. I don't do any special makeup, any special type of, um, um, Facial products, I use regular Neutrogena face wash, which I do love that face wash, but I can guarantee you that water and sweat have done miracles to my skin in ways that not, no special doctor doctor's program or product has to do. So, you know, that's it for the week. You guys have a blessed week. Um, tune in next week and I'll have, you know, more updates and I'm so looking forward to this process because it, it's, it's been great.